What's going on YouTube gamers? Bonfire here and just a couple of days ago Nintendo finally revealed the NX as the Nintendo Switch. And so most of you probably know I'm a pretty big Nintendo guy, hence all those amiibos back there. So I wanted to take a moment to share with you kind of my reaction and thoughts to the big reveal. So first and foremost, I like it. I, I'm sold. I'm, I plan on getting this day one. I just, I, I thought it was a great commercial, a great reveal, and I'm on board. It's exciting. I, I love the idea of a console handheld hybrid. I mean, just the thought of playing the new Zelda Breath of the Wild, chilling at home playing it, and then being able to take it with me on the go is super exciting. So let's talk about the hardware. The tablet itself, I think it looks great. It's a good design. It looks to be a pretty good size. And when you put the, when you snap the controllers, or I guess they're called Joy-Cons, on the side, and you're, and you're just playing it as a handheld, looks to be about the size of a Wii U gamepad, except the screen's obviously a lot bigger. And that, that sounds good to me. I thought the Wii U gamepad's a good size. It still, it looks pretty thin, so you can travel with it, makes it pretty mobile, and it looks, it looks good from a design perspective, from what I've seen. Then you can slide it into that little adapter thing that hooks up to your TV, and that also, look, that looks to be a good size too. And hopefully it snaps in there and, and keeps it pretty safe, keeps the screen all nice and scratch that up. Would, that'd, be, that'd be pretty cool uh, if it doesn't do that. But it, it looks like a good size. I mean, honestly, when it's in that little adapter hooked up to your TV, that looks to be about the same size as the Wii U console itself. So not gonna take up a ton of real estate and that's a win in my book. Now, the controllers or what's really interesting, or the, the Joy-Con, cons. I, I think you say Joy-Cons, because it's plural. I don't know, this is still new. We all know Nintendo's naming convention is not the best. However, they're really interesting. Because now, when you have it in the traditional controller, when you slide it into the little controller holder thing, where it's like more like a traditional controller, uh, it looks interesting. It, it honestly reminds me of like a third party a GameCube controller, like a giant fatty GameCube controller. Uh, and I'm mostly curious, how does that feel in your hands? Is it pretty ergonomic? Does it play well? How, how does it work? I don't know, I'm curious about that. One thing that's cool though is the analog stick on the right is actually now below the buttons. And I know a lot of people complained about on the Wii U that the right analog stick was above the buttons so it made it kind of awkward to play that way. Now they're kind of going back and following along all the other consoles and all the other controllers where the dual analog stick on the right is below the buttons. So nice job, Nintendo. Now when you slide those out of the little controller holder and then onto the tablet and you're playing in the mobile, that looks like, again, a Wii U gamepad. I thought the Wii U gamepad was pretty comfortable when you're playing like that, so uh, I have no issues there. It looks, looks great to me. One thing that's interesting though, and I'm curious how well it's gonna work, is when you flip the kickstand on the tablet, which by the way, is a fantastic idea. I just hope it's pretty durable and doesn't break easy, but just flipping the kickstand out, setting that bad boy up, that's awesome. And that's your little monitor right there. But then you can slide the controllers off and then play them by themselves and use them by themselves, these little tiny controllers, almost like the Wii and the Nunchuck back in the Wii days when you'd play with that. So I'm assuming it'll be very similar to that. Again, I'm just curious how well it's gonna work it'll feel good, especially on certain games. Um, but really cool concepts, and I'm excited to try it out. Now one of the things that has quite a bit of people talking is that in the trailer, the Nintendo Switch is obviously gonna use cartridges. They show a little cartridge, a little tiny cartridge being slid in to the console itself, and those are gonna be the games. The games are going back to cartridges, which I don't have an issue with. It looks like it'd be the size of like a, a 3DS cartridge, not a big deal to me. It, I'm old school like that. I, as you can see, I like game collecting games and having physical copies of games. So I'm on board with that. And, and really, if you think about it, this gonna. Help, I've heard it's gonna help them save on battery life with not having any you know, optical disc drive in there. Gonna make things just you know probably run a little cooler than it would with the disc drive. And also, you know, we install and download so much of our games even portions of our games through updates and things like that. Playing off a cartridge and then downloading the rest of the game, I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue for a lot of people, so uh, I think it's kinda cool. Now let's just take a moment 
to talk about the games we saw in the trailer because we saw quite a few. So first off, we saw a new Mario game and that was pretty cool. I mean, it was only a few seconds, but I got Mario 64 vibes, so thumbs up there. Can't wait to learn more. We saw a Mario Kart, what well, was presumably Mario Kart 8. However, you get two items, so it looked like Double Dash a little bit or an update to Mario Kart 8 or maybe even a new Mario Kart game, I don't know. But that was cool. We saw Splatoon. I love Splatoon. Don't know if you guys know that, but I, I really do love Splatoon. Uh, now, one thing I did hear was that the Nintendo Switch is not backwards compatible, so I don't know if they're going to make us buy Splatoon again for those of us that own it, or maybe it's a new Splatoon, Splatoon 2, which would be so epic. I think Splatoon's such a great game. Then we saw NBA 2K. Uh, we also saw Skyrim, which that's really exciting to me. And I, I just, I love the idea of playing Skyrim at home and then taking Skyrim with me on the go. Fantastic. I absolutely love that. And I think what this really shows here is that Nintendo has worked really hard to rekindle their third party relationships with third party developers to bring those games to the Nintendo Switch. And so I think it's exciting. I'm excited to see what other third party games are going to bring and how, how long it's going to last. Now, with this reveal, obviously it leaves us with a ton of unanswered questions, such as how much is the console going to be? Are there going to be different SKUs, different you know bundles we can buy? Uh, what's the battery life like? What's the screen size? What are the specs on this thing? And, and where does it fall within the a spectrum of graphic fidelity for consoles? I mean, is it on par with Xbox One, PS4? Maybe, maybe not. Is it more Xbox 360, PS3 graphics, kind of in between? Where does it fit? Overall, I'm super excited. I, I cannot wait to try this bad boy out. I'm, I'm gonna get it on day one. I, I love Nintendo. I think this is a great idea. I thought it was a great reveal for them. Kind of shows you where they're going, where they wanna be, and, and, and who their market is. Because notice we didn't see any families, didn't see a bunch of kids playing it. It was people like myself, you know, young adults playing this thing, incorporating it into their daily lives. I think it's fantastic. Uh, again, lots of unanswered questions, but still great to see what it is. Minus the name. I mean, Nintendo Switch, eh, but it's Nintendo, so what, what can you say? And there you guys have it. Those are my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch reveal. Let me know what you guys think about it, and if you're going to pick it up, if you're sold, what do you like, what do you dislike, down in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video, and well, until next time, I'm Bonfire. And I will see you online. Yeah, yeah, now come up, now come up. It's 80 you now if you whip it, put your hands up. On the fly, ladies, set a front, go ahead and stand.